Hello, my chess beamers. This is the Anime Epic. And today, I'm gonna do a what if Kenke and Astra. Well, today, I'm gonna do what if uh, in one of the matches, Kuru, the fisherman, won the fight with the Muay Thai fighter with the hard bones. That's right, I don't know these characters. And how would the fight of Ri versus Kuru do? Well, we all know that Ri, the guy that looks like Sasuke from Naruto, would definitely win. But how would Goro the fisherman handle the handle the the fight? Well this is this is my theory and my opinion. What if what if video? Leave a comment below how will the fight go out if those two fighters were to fight. Re versus Koru. The lightning spear versus the the great white shark. Well to start out with the character Re not much is known about Ri's fighting style and techniques besides being an old ancient martial arts style that can rival the core clan Ku clan and his attack is described by a professional fighter as a shooting bullet as nothing more as that and besides some you know like killing points of punches I think I think that's the only thing that gives an advantage and and a win-win situation. But here's the problem. How would Koro, the fisherman, handle the speed? For Koro, uh, he's not really much of a martial artist, but more like a warrior in a way. I say he has the fi like the only way I think he could. Okay, wait. The the, the real question is like, go ahead handle the speed well i think that's a maybe because one time i'm using my imagination one time in the manga he says he has captured and defeated every type of sea creature sea creature in the ocean even a whale even a whale so i'm just thinking i think that does that mean he has experience of capturing sea creatures you know I imagine him catching a swordfish, for example. For example, if Koro actually has experience or actually has any relations of catching swordfish, that means he has a head start, like he has experience of handling fast characters. So I think he might handle the speed since you know swordfishes are very fast in the water I don't know how much the speed is but look at online I don't know if I can compare to a bullet to a swordfish but I think Koro might handle the speed another advantage of Koro well I'm using my imagination here you know you know he does that you know uh, seasick thing where he does those unbelievably attacks with those unsurable poses well I will use my imagination I would just imagine like even if his even if his reactions wouldn't react enough let's say if if Yuri were to punch him he will be like a Weevil and come back again like doing some type of crazy move using Weevil's punches and attacks momentum against him like 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 a Weevil does like, how you have one of those weevils, like, balloon things that you try to punch and they always get back? I'm, I'm talking about that. Like, kind of like that. I think, uh, Koro might use some type of, uh, weevil stuff. And I'm not talking about weevil like anime, guys. I'm talking about the old toys of weevil. Like, one of those things that always get, get, get up. Like, I think he might use, he might, might use the momentum of Ri's attacks against him. The only way I can describe Koro's style is that it's similar to Capoeira. If you don't know what a Capoeira is, it's a Brazilian martial arts style that hides his punches and kicks by a dance and then never stop moving. Capoeira is known to be one of the strongest kicks martial arts, even stronger than Taekwondo. Taekwondo uses snaps. Capoeira uses the whole weight of their body and momentum to make a heavy attack to make a very damage attack that can damage your whole body so I, that's why I think uh, Koro has a style similar to Capoeira or even more better than Capoeira I'm not insulting, Capoeira is one of my favorite martial arts so I think 
Koro has the ability to hide his punches and use his own weight for his kicks and punches. Punches. Making an unpredictable style and movements to distract his opponents. As for Ri, I didn't put him much, much uh, detail on him because in the Thailand translation version, he really has too much development and techniques. For example, those tap things. Well, he goes to fight. I think the fight will go with Ri charging first, and Koro will. Either dodge or try to punch him. And he will land a few good punches because of his fishing experience catching any type of fat sea creatures that he can find. In even swordfishes. In the end, Ri, Ri might get tired and frustrated. So he might choose more force on his punches and throw more and kicks and stuff. And then Koro, Koro might use... Might use his seasick technique, the weevil technique. You use the own momentum and use it against him. And again, using some unpredictable moves and attacks that he might use against Ri. But in the, but Ri will see through this and go and so overwhelm the guy with so much speed that the guy wouldn't react so fast. Well, this is just a thi no much of how many unpredictable kicks and punches aiming his own experience winning match he will try to bear hug him but Ri will use one of his uh fingers or tef techniques you know one of those karate things where they hit you with the middle finger types on the skull and I no matter Kuro has fought hard but in the end he lost well much is females it no matter what no matter what opponent Re fights either is against Koro the fisherman or spoilers uh, the Muay Thai fighter. He still wins. Well, leave a comment below and what you think will happen if Koro were to fight Re. And we all know that he's gonna lose anyways. But how do you think the fight is gonna go in your point of view? I would like to hear that. And as always. I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you can tolerate my annoying voice. And like always, see you later, much as females.